Hi there, my name is Dialina Bauman and I'm an Access Bars facilitator. Today I'm going to be telling you about Access Bars, I'm going to be telling you about Access Consciousness, and I'm going to be sharing some of the cool tools from Access Con Consciousness. These are tools that might make your life easier, better, kinder, and happier. I discovered Access Bars eight years ago when I was working in the insurance industry and a friend of mine who I was working with offered to run my bars. She'd just learned this new cool modality and she needed someone to practice on and I was only too keen to help out. I've always loved learning new things. I've always been big into self-development, self-improvement, and I love learning new things about myself and about other people. Turns out it was quite easy. No mess, no fuss, very simple, no regurgitating the past and going through all that trauma and drama. I think the hardest part for me was lying down and allowing myself to relax and just to receive for an hour and a half. So, what is Access Consciousness? Access Consciousness is a set of tools, techniques and processes that were designed to facilitate more consciousness for everyone. I quite like Access Consciousness's definition of what consciousness is, where consciousness includes everything and judges nothing. The invitation of Access Consciousness is to invite you to be the infinite being you truly are and to create a life beyond the you you think you are. Access consciousness empowers you to know that you know, you know everything it is that you need to know. These pragmatic well-being tools were developed by Gary Douglas, the founder of Access Consciousness, in 1991. In the beginning, Access Bars was the only tool that was offered by Access Consciousness. And to this day, it remains the foundation and core tool of all the tools that are offered by Access Consciousness. The bars are 32 unique points on your head that relate to various areas and aspects of your life. Areas like joy, sadness, body, sexuality, healing, kindness, gratitude, peace and calm, money, control, creativity, communication. So if you come for a bar session with me, I'll ask you to lie down on the table and to relax. And then I'll gently touch these unique points that relate to these various areas. And by touching all these points, we release the electromagnetic charge of all the thoughts, the feelings, the emotions, the decisions, the conclusions, the judgments, all the beliefs and the points of view that you've built up in this lifetime or any other lifetime that relate to these various aspects. A session is usually between 60 and 90 minutes and at worst people get up and say they've had the most relaxing sleep or it feels 
as if they've had a great head massage. But at best, people say that they've changed their lives to so much greater with so much ease. Each bar session is really unique and individual to each person. So it differs from session to session. People have reported greater health and well-being. They've, they've changed pain in their bodies. They've also reported less insomnia. They sleep better. They have less stress, less anxiety. It's helped with depression, PTSD, OCD. You can experience the bars as a once-off session, or you can experience it on a monthly, a weekly, or even a daily basis. I think that's the beauty of being a bars practitioner, uh, because you can meet up with other bars practitioners in your area that are close by, and you can get to swap bars almost every day. We're so privileged. We've, we've got probably four or five bars practitioners within a 10 kilometer radius. So it's so much fun to be able to do it at least once a week, and then sometimes even more. Other than going for a session, you can also learn the bars. It's a one day class that's facilitated by bars facilitators all over the world. And even yeah, right here in Cape Town, in the Western Cape, in South Africa. <laughs> so we've spoken about the bars, we've spoken about access consciousness. So now I'd like to share four of the access consciousness tools that you'll get to learn at an access bars class. So the first one is the mantra. Then it's asking a question. The crazy phrase. And then who does this belong to? Okay, so try these out. One of the first tools that you'll be taught if you attend a bars class is the mantra of access consciousness. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. <laughs> you can say this 10 times in the morning and 10 times at night. And, and really, it, it can create so much ease in your life. You can even do it for lunch. I think the beauty about doing this is if you're able to be totally present and aware of the energy behind those words. All of life comes to me with joy, with ease, with glory. All of life comes to me with joy, ease, and glory. All of life comes to me with joy, ease, and glory. All of life comes to me with joy, ease, and glory. All of life comes to me with joy, ease, and glory. So try it for yourself. Tap into those energies Say it 10 times in the morning, say it 10 times at night, say it 10 times in between, say it a hundred times. Say it as many times as you'd like until you get more joy, more ease, more glory. The second tool is asking a question. We are taught to find the answer. We are not taught to ask questions. So a question always empowers. An answer always disempowers. 
So the whole idea behind asking a question is to get an awareness. So remember, you know that you know. So if you're able to ask a question, you will be able to get an awareness. It's not about getting an answer. It's about getting an awareness. And remember, ask and you will receive is one of the laws of the universe. So if you ask, you can receive. You can't receive without asking. So if you ask a question, the universe can't wait to show you. So if you've got out of the practice of asking questions, start with something simple like, how does it get better than this? You can ask it for when something good happens or when something bad happens. So you get a money in the bank. How does it get better than that? How does it get better than that? How does it get better than that? You take your car for a service. They find something else. They find something else. Keep asking. How does it get better? How does it get better? How does it get better? And wait for the awareness to show up. Wait for the universe to show you how it gets better. The crazy phrase. The crazy phrase goes like this. Everything is the opposite of what it appears to be. Nothing is the opposite of what it appears to be. Everything is the opposite of what it appears to be. Nothing is the opposite of what it appears to be. Everything is the opposite of what it appears to be. Nothing is the opposite of what it appears to be. It's meant to be crazy so that it can get you more clarity. It, it also gets you out of your head. So if someone's driving you crazy, if you can't fall asleep, if you've got your head going a million miles an hour, just say it. Say it. 10 to 20 times. Say it a million times. Everything is the opposite of what it appears to be. Nothing is the opposite of what it appears to be. Everything is the opposite of what it appears to be. Nothing is the opposite of what it appears to be. Just say it. You'll find the person doesn't drive you crazy anymore. You'll probably fall asleep and your mind won't be going at a million miles an hour anymore. The last tool is probably one of the greatest tools from Access Consciousness. It's who does it belong to? What if you are so aware? What if 98% of your thoughts, feelings, and emotions don't actually belong to you? What if you're like a psychic sponge bob of the universe? So, so we think that when we experience a thought, a feeling or emotion, when that comes into our reality, we, we think that it must be ours. It's never, it's never ours. So the greatest freedom that you can probably give yourself is to spend three days asking, who does this belong to? For every thought, feeling or emotion that comes up in your world. Every time you have a thought, every time you have a feeling, every time you have an emotion, just ask, who does this belong to? Even if it lightens up just the slightest bit, return to sender with consciousness attached. Just return to sender with consciousness attached. For every thought, feeling, and emotion, return it to sender with consciousness attached and feel it lighten up. Do it for three days. Um, there's actually a very nifty app that was developed by Access Consciousness called Who Does This Belong To? that you can download from the Google Play Store or from the App Store. So go check it out, download it. There are very cute little reminders and timers and notifications and it explains more about how that works. So I really hope 
you have a better understanding of what access bars and access consciousness is all about, please go to the Access Consciousness website. It's www.accessconsciousness.com to learn more about these amazing tools and techniques and also to find a practitioner or bars facilitator that's close by to you. You can follow me on Instagram at Dialina Bauman or on Facebook, Dialina Bauman, a soft touch. Please send me a direct message. I'd love to hear from you. If you've got any questions, I'd love to give you more information. Thank you so much for joining me. I had a really good time. Look after yourself and have a magical, magical day. Thank you. Bye-bye.